Hey everybody, this is Kristen and I've got your June 2018 sew sampler here with me today. And I hope everybody's excited as I am. Um, last month's box was amazing. I simply loved it. So I cannot wait to see what we have this month. So let's take a look. I can get the box open. There we go. So this is a neighborhood block party box. With our uh, usual coupon codes for items in the store. <clears throat> Alright, first thing we have a cute little enamel pin by Thimble Blossoms of a little house. Apparently, uh, we can collect them all. Alright. Um, I'm curious to see... Okay, they finally changed it back. So for a couple of months, they weren't telling us how much each item was. So we were left to try to sleuth it out on their website. And um, so I'm happy to see that now they actually have um, replaced that on their little what's included list. So the Thimble Blossoms pin retails for $9.94. Next up in our box is the Clearview Art Bin Case. Ooh, and it has fabric in it. So, looks like this is the perfect size to store at least two um, charm packs. So that is awesome. So the case is $4.49. And inside of that, we get the Cupcake Mix Recipe number four, which I am pretty excited to try those couple of blocks. So this should be fun. Um, and that is, retails for $6.24. And so that includes 44 sheets that yield four one and a half finished half square triangles and four one and a half inch finished squares. So two assembled recipe cards make one six inch finish block. Cool. Also, in our art bin case, we have two charm packs of um, Bonnie and Camille's Vintage Holiday Fabric by Moda. So, you know what? I'm going to open these anyways, so I might as well just take it off. All right, so if you're not in the Christmas spirit yet, this will be good for that. Um, we have ornaments, uh, like some candy cane striping in there, some poinsettias maybe. I'm trying to get to that fabric, it's not liking me. Some flower fabric, some kind of like mistletoe -y fabric. Uh, and then we get to the reds, and then we got some silver, and we got some blue. So really pretty. Um, I'm excited to see what uh, this kind of turns into. I'm not quite in the Christmas spirit yet, but this is definitely getting me there. Alright, so we've got the box, the fabric. Here we go. So this is what I was interested in getting to. So our Cupcake Crossing is our quilt pattern of the month. And this is what we use our two vintage charm packs for. And it looks like it's kind of almost, well it's not quite a sampler quilt, but it does have um, two different blocks. So that's kind of fun. And the finish size is 50 by 50. And as always, Great directions on the interior, pictures, cutting directions, and even some nice colored how-tos. So that'll be fun. I might actually make this. And then as always, they have the finishing kit on um, the Fat Quarter website as well. So we've got that. And then this month's barn quilt block, the interior has changed to that kind of like a star. There we go. You can see it a little bit better. So every month we get one of these barn quilt recipe or barn block uh, recipe books and the, the square in the middle here is always what changes. So what do I think about this month's? Is it as good as last month's? No. But 
it's a little hard to, you know, you love this month so much that you're so excited and it's kind of hard. It's, it's like a sequel. It's almost never as good as the first movie, right? So this one I still like, I'm still happy with. I'm not blown away. Um, you know, it, it's a cute pin, but do I want a $10 pin? Not really. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe I'll pin it to one of my little, uh, um, pin cushions that I made. I don't know. Um, so this to me is a little bit of wasted money. Um, uh, I know a lot of people like pins though, so if you do, awesome. This is cute. Um, overall though, these, you know, clear containers are kind of nice. Because if I'm wanting to take some of my, uh, you know, blocks that I'm working on or charm packs or whatever it is, I can quite easily just put that in there and go on my merry way and go traveling or wherever I need to go with the fabric. So that's really nice. Um, I always like having storage solutions. And like I said, the cupcake mixed recipe book is something that I think I'm actually going to use. I'm actually going to try. So that'll be fun. I've looked at them on the website before and I've just never done it. Um, I think this is um, paper piecing, which I've never tried either. So this should be interesting. I like the, the couple of blocks that they have available on here for us to try. So this I'll probably use. So this is a really quick box this month, guys. Um, not a whole lot in it, but there's nothing wrong with that. Like I said, there's some cool usable features in here. Overall, I, I like this month's box. Um, I'm I'm happy with the pattern we got. I'm happy with the fabric we got. Like I said, I'm not quite in Christmas mood, Christmas spirit yet, but I definitely am getting there thanks to this. So overall, good box. The only thing I could really get rid of is this pin. And considering it's what, 30 bucks with shipping, um, you know, the threat <laughs> backwards. The charm packs, um, the two of them together, that's $19.96. So that's the majority of what we're spending money on right there is the fabric. And then, you know, add $5 for the clear bin and six something for the cupcake recipe. Yeah, I, I think we got our money's worth. Um, and then of course we get the quilt pattern itself is retailing for $9.98. And the barn block recipe card is $4.98. So all of this, you know, that we got this month definitely makes um, makes up that 30 bucks and more. So overall, I'm super happy with the box. Again, not a static like I was last month, but I'm very happy with the box this month. So uh, if y'all have any questions, comments, concerns down below, you can send me a message. You can subscribe to my channel. Please, please, please get me to that 100. I think I'm sitting at 99 right now. So subscribe. Check out my other videos um, for honest reviews. Uh, I've got an Instagram and I'm also starting a blog. So if you want to follow me outside of YouTube, that's the place to do it. All right. So until next month, this is Kristen and this has been your June 2018 uh, Fat Quarter Shop Sew Sampler Box.